You like Block Island too? Yeah, I did too. It was a cool stop, but I feel ready to uh, get going again and explore some more places, right? I thought it was really chill. I mean, there's a lot of people there, but uh, Anchorage is pretty nice and there's cool things to do. We went on a good walk, explore a bit, and meeting our friends. It was crazy. We didn't really film it, but we, we had every boat from our Ragged Island crew just showed up. Look who it is, hey stranger. It's Persephone. It was not really that plan. It just happened to happen to be, which was awesome. Yeah. And everybody's kind of moving north, so we'll see them up north a little bit. Over the next few weeks, our plan is to work our way up the New England coast. We'd heard reports of restrictions and closures in some of the more populated cities. So our plan was to island hop and make the best of the situation, stopping in some of the smaller and more desolate ports along the way. The season isn't very long in the northeast of the U.S., and we were keen to make it as far north as we could before the weather turned. So we decided to get a move on. What's the plan here? I'm gonna try to fly the spinnaker. Oh! The wind's pretty light. Right, I'm gonna start hoisting. A spinnaker, or kite as it's sometimes called, is a sail designed specifically for downwind sailing, where the wind is somewhere between 90 and 180 degrees measured off the bow. It's made of a lightweight material, making it easier to fly than a heavier Dacron sail in the lighter winds. We use a spinnaker sock on Delos, which allows us to hoist the entire sail before it fills. This makes it a lot easier for short-handed sailing and to deploy and douse in heavier winds as well. Nice. The spinnaker fills with wind and balloons out in front of the boat, which keeps it from being blanketed by the disturbed wind flow from the mainsail. When you do it right, it's called flying the kite. So nice when the engine goes off. Oh, it's so nice. This is the story of Delos, a sailboat adventurizing around the world for the past 10 years. And now we embark on our greatest adventure of all. Come join us as we take to the high seas and travel the world with the newest member of our crew. If you enjoy Delos videos, please subscribe. It's a great way to support our channel. Well, we really wanted to go and explore Cuddy Hunk, but it turns out that there was just a virus scare outbreak there. And so the whole place is a little bit freaked out and we decided not to go in and risk it. So, yeah, strange times, but uh, we're, we're making the best of it and sailing on to the next place. We're just ghosting downwind, calm seas, the wind is beautiful, sunshine is out, and we've picked another place uh, a little bit on the way to Cape Cod Canal. It's Hadley Harbor. Or Hadley. Um, I think all the islands are private there, uh, so we probably won't be able to explore a lot. There's one place, I think this is it, Bull Island where we can get ashore. Pretty tight cut, huh? Yeah, it's cool though. Just gotta dodge, I don't know if they're lobster or crab or what. We're gonna sail right through this gap, right there. So <laughs> I guess we are going in there. What a beautiful spot. Yeah, it's real nice in here. It's a real cozy anchorage. Yeah. 
So Calico Skies drafted up to us. We're going for a little explore. Look at all these trees, Sierra. Look at all of these trees. Can you see anything? Sorry, the hat is kind of in the way. Look up. No, and I only want to look at the GoPro, but that's okay. Look at this. Ooh. It's like a nice view around every corner. End of the era, Kaza. You know, we put this motor on in New Zealand in like 2010 or something. Yeah. And it's done really well for us, but it's pretty tired. I think it's about had it. How does it feel, Ryan? Heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the flashy new one. Can we get the bottom out? Okay. Let that swing down, right? Rotating. Three people. Two and a half people. Who's the half? Me? Yeah, oh no. Because I didn't get in the dinghy? Oh man. <laughs> How does it smell, guys? It smells delicious. Oh, that. Oh, it smells like new car. It's got like that new car smell. Karen's going to be so happy that she can actually start it, like pull it. All right, Kaza, wait. I, I want you to admire the, the beauty and the smell. It smells like a new car. How's it? All right, ready? This is big, huh? Yeah. The key is there, and then you just give it a give it a good pull. There you go. Oh, wow. What a difference. Yeah. Our trusty old Yamaha Enduro two-stroke had served us well but it was on its last legs. So I figured better to replace it now before we got further north. This particular four stroke model is nearly the same weight as the two stroke and much quieter, smoother, and supposed to be fuel efficient. Only time will tell if it's as dependable and robust as the Enduro. Look at this baby. Yeah, baby. Yeah, that's our spinnaker, Sierra. So we fly the sail when the wind is behind the beam and the wind is from behind us. We put it up because it's a big, beautiful sail and it helps us to capture more wind. And then we can go faster. Ahoy Delos tribe! Winter is a coming, and Kaza has designed these sweet hoodies to keep you warm and cozy. The liner is soft and fluffy, and as usual, they get our torture-tested stamp of approval while we've sailed the New England coast. They're available in colors and sizes to suit all, so grab one for yourself or that special salty sailor in your life. Check them out at svdelos.com forward slash hoodies. We are doing great. We are uh, right at the entrance to the Cape Cod Canal. So we're just going to cut right through this canal instead of going all the way out around Cape Cod, which uh, takes quite a bit of miles off. And it's pretty cool too. We'll end up here in uh, Provincetown, Cape Cod for the night.
smells them. <laughs> you really smell the trees, huh? Yeah, it's amazing. It smells really good. Yeah. What do you think about our new anchorage? This is it. This is Cape Cod. That's Province Town, which everybody calls P Town, over there. And, uh, the Cape extends out pretty far, which keeps the anchorage nice and comfortable. Uh, we've heard rumors of some seals, which we haven't seen seals since South Africa, I guess, yeah. which is pretty crazy. So I'm excited to kind of go in and see some wildlife. Oh. Yeah, let's go on a dinghy ride. Show yeah. an adventure to the beach with the nugget. Yeah. Okay. As soon as she wakes up. They're mammals just like us, Sarah. You're a mammal. They're a mammal, but they live in the water and you live on a sailboat. They're pretty big. Yeah. Okay, I found some fun facts about the gray seal. Um, so they can breathe underwater for as long as 16 minutes. And they're quite a big seal uh, compared to all other seals. How much can they weigh? How much can it weigh? Well, the, when they're born, they weigh 14 kilograms. Okay. And... That's like three or four nuggets when she was born. Yeah. So they can weigh up to 100 to 400 wow, kilograms. 400 kilos. Yeah, like that's a lot. Almost 900 pounds. So yeah, it's, it's big like seal. big males. That's a big fella. I think she's a bit bored. Yeah, I think she's a bit bored. She doesn't appreciate the seal factor. <laughs> Should we go for a little walk? Yeah, let's go, let's go to the beach. <laughs> Burning. Look at that. Charles Darby. October 17th, 1944. That's crazy. I wonder how many manners that might save. Probably a lot. We also ventured into the amazingly quaint P-Town for an explore. Since Sierra is a little young to wear a mask, it was nice to know that everyone else around us was wearing one, and we felt comfortable enough to go in for an explore. Even though it felt like we landed right in the middle of some strange movie set. So weird. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like you're in a movie set. With old masks. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, we're gonna be Guam Harbor Lighthouse. Brian, Karen, Nugget, and crew, you inspire us. The future of our lives will be changed by your adventures. Best wishes, best wishes, best wish, <laughs> wishes. Are you drunk already? And smooth sailing. JJ, John, and Kim. Aw. That's nice. Cool. That's nice very nice. Time. Whoa. We get pretty lucky out here, huh, Nugget? We got a lobster delivery and a beer delivery. 
My mom says she wishes it was as big as the one you caught by hand. <laughs> All right, thank you from the Lugalis family. We love you guys. This is JJ. Enjoy Isla Schultz. Over and out. Aw, oh, so sweet. Looks like a nice spot, huh? Yeah, it looks beautiful. The island's closed, I think. I know. COVID, Sad, huh? But well, we can explore by dinghy. Yeah. There's I gotta figure mark. out what that strange vibration in the prop is. I know. It's a little oh. scary. Well, we were uh, motoring yesterday here and uh, I heard a, a loud like boom and then a vibration started I think in the propeller and I'm not sure if something happened to the prop or if we hit a line or a net and it got cut by the prop cutter but we had to reduce RPM back to about 1500 uh, for the last couple hours yesterday so I'm just gonna dive it now and uh, see if there's anything on it or anything noticeably wrong uh, it's cold water, I'm not really looking forward to it. It's not like diving in the in the Bahamas where he came from. So. Oh jeez, it's cold. It is cold. Holy crap. You know, the prop is fine. The prop is tight. It's not loose. All the blades are free and fine. There's no net on it or line. And I think of what it was is I think it's that experimental coating we tried because if you look at the blade, it's gone in some places. It's only on in, in a few places. And so I think it's, it's just unbalancing the prop. I might go down on scuba and see if I can scrape it off or something because otherwise it's just gonna cause weird vibrations for us, you know? Yeah, I don't know, that paint, that experimental paint we put on the prop just didn't adhere well. And I was able to scrape it off because I think it was just, came off in some spots, it was unbalancing the prop. Huh. But it scraped off easy enough. And uh, I'm happy with that. Okay. Yeah? That's good news. That's good news. I hope that works. The prop is not gonna fall off. <laughs> uh, I did some research and I found out that the New Hampshire main border is literally right there. So we're gonna really? dinghy ride to Maine. How cool is that? Uh, and we're just gonna go explore around. Islands look cool. Maybe some seals. What do you say, Nugs? Like a dinghy ride. Since you can't go on any of the islands, Yeah, right? they're all private, but... And the hotel is closed. Apparently this is the first time in 100 years that this hotel is closed. Oh, what a change. Huh? Strange, huh? But we can look at it from the water. Yeah. Okay. Kind of a shame it's all private, huh? Yeah, it is. It's go. strange. We're definitely in Maine now. That's For sure we're in Maine. And these are seals that live in Maine, Sierra. <laughs> All right, I've got them. Geez, couldn't even get close. They're so skittish. Nice. 
Up next on Delos. It's absolutely out of control, Kaza. <laughs> it's out of control. Look at oh, this. We make it to Maine and get introduced to sailing in the lobster filled waters of this incredible cruising ground. Mom. I love this scare. Mommy did it. So cute. Did Mommy did it. Scared. Oh man. All right, we got a nice shot of your butt there, Gary. <laughs> nice. Oh, I hope that's going to be some quick oh, feet right there. Oh, there's yeah, the thumbnail. Oh man, these are the ones my shorts are ripped. In. One, yeah. sir. I don't know about that. One. <laughs> Come on. You want me to try an oyster? Come on, you filmed yeah. me gagging at the time the toilet <laughs> in the yard and had a good laugh. I had a, I had a really good this time with that. This is your retribution. What is this? It's a new one. The first pull. You're making me nervous now. What if it doesn't start? <laughs> Did you take put it in your hand? Oh, oh that silly bad. Bill. It wasn't that bad. She wants to go everywhere on her own too. You're gonna have really good balance, Nugget. Oh, not yet. But you're working on it. We picked up a morning ball and it's <laughs> look at this baby, I can't concentrate. 